Hi guys, thank you so so much for 1k subscribers. I literally can't believe it. I started this channel wanting to post about fashion, beauty, lifestyle, just basically everything that I loved. And I just can't believe that there is 1k of you that actually love what I put out. It only makes me even more motivated and excited to put out better and even more content. And I'm so excited to be filming this video because that means I personally hit my own milestone, which I actually never thought was possible. But here we are. And yeah, let's get started with the Q&A. I've just looked up some questions online for you guys to get to know me, for us to get to know each other. And yeah, let's get started. So the first question is, how old are you? Uh, I'm 26. Uh, next question is, what's your ethnicity? My ethnicity is Vietnamese and Chinese, more specifically Cantonese speaking, which I don't really know much of. I only know the basics. My mom and my cousins are more of the ones who are more fluent in Cantonese, but personally uh, in my immediate family we speak Vietnamese, so yes, I speak Vietnamese fluently. Uh, I get a lot of people who say that I look Korean or Japanese when I was little, but um, yeah, I am fluent in Vietnamese. Do you have any siblings? I have no siblings. I'm an only child and when I was little I really wanted to have siblings just because I really wanted someone to play with and I would kind of just talk to myself when I would play with my dolls. But as I grew older I learned to appreciate the way things are and I love my individuality and yeah. What is your favorite food? Favorite food would have to be sushi. I'm a big seafood girl so anything sushi, my favorite being salmon, sashimi. I can never get enough of that even though it's kind of bad for you to have but yeah I just I'm always craving it. What is your Myers Break personality. Um, so I am an ENFJA, which I find really funny because I kind of switch back and forth between I and E when I took it the first time. I do consider myself more shy when you first uh, meet me, but yeah, it says I'm an extrovert, so I guess I do like socializing. <laughs> the next question. Do you have any tattoos or piercings? Well, I have one tattoo on my finger. I don't know if you can see. Will it focus? So it says moon in Vietnamese, vâng zhang, which is from my dad saying that the name Cindy means goddess of the moon. So I decided to get that in like a Vietnamese translation, which my mom helped me translate and it was spontaneous <laughs> however i did get it with my group of friends who were also getting tattoos uh, we each got our own different personal designs um, so it wasn't matching but yeah it's um i think it's really special and i would love to get more in the future it's just i'm really indecisive but i would like to get some that are meaningful and minimalistic. And as for piercings, I have double O piercings on both sides and a cartilage piercing, which I don't know if you can see, which I went with my mom as well. <laughs> and um, I do someday kind of think about getting like a conch piercing, but I'm a side sleeper, so I don't know if I want to sacrifice my comfy sleep position for that. <laughs> Question is what is your favorite color and your favorite animal? So my favorite color is pink even though as I get older I'm wearing more like neutrals, I gravitate towards neutrals, I'm still, I love pink at heart. And my favorite animal is a cheetah. I think it started with the cheetah girls. That was when I first found out about the animal <laughs> and I thought they were really cute. They're like big cats and they're just so like I just want to pet them <laughs> even though it's not 
really the safest option. <laughs> Funny enough, also my boyfriend's favorite animal as well. What is your favorite show? My favorite show would be New Girl. Yeah, I just think it's a classic and you can just rewatch it so many times. I'm kind of sad that it's... I think it's it will be taken off Netflix or it, it has been. Our favorite movie. My favorite movie is 13 Going on 30 of all time. Speaking of Studio Ghibli movie, I would say Howl's Moving Castle. Mountains or the beach? I would say I'm a mountains girl even though I'm afraid of heights. I just really admire the scenery and I think I love it even more after my trip to Salt Lake City, which I did vlog on my channel. Yeah, something about the mountains and the crisp air. It's just very nice. Um, also, I don't know how to swim, so maybe that's a reason too. What's your major? So I actually graduated. Um, I have a bachelor's in biology and a minor's in psychology, both of which I'm not using in my career currently. Goes to show. It's a very useful major. <laughs> the last movie you've cried to. I cry very easily when it comes to very heartfelt scenes. The movie that I most recently cried to, I did watch When Harry Meets Sally for the first time on our flight back to Houston from Salt Lake City. It's been on my bucket list to watch for so long and I finally watched it on the plane and I was ballin'. <laughs> next to these strangers on the plane but i loved it so much i think it's definitely my second favorite movie of all time next question is what is your biggest fear i am afraid of heights not the biggest fan of bugs i'm pretty claustrophobic so i'm not really comfortable with crowds like graves or anything like that if whenever i do go to concerts i would pick seated tickets or if it's general admission in a smaller venue I would just try to stand on the side or in the back where you know not a lot of people are around and I can get enough air and yeah what is your idea of a perfect day my idea of a perfect day would have to be I guess like a little picnic um, on a nice day which is kind of hard to find in Houston when it's super hot <laughs> I think like a springtime, like cool weather, not a cloud in the sky, just a nice picnic with some like, you know, sandwiches and maybe sushi, a good book to read. Yeah, just enjoying your time outside. Uh, the next question is coffee or tea? I am a tea person, a hundred percent. I feel like coffee makes my heart race too fast. And as a person with anxiety, it's just not a good feeling to be in. I just love chai so much. I love green tea, matcha, um, anything tea. What was your best subject in school? My best subject personally would have to be English. I've always had like good grades. I've never really struggled in that class and I think it just really came naturally to me. Even when we were like free writing, freestyling? Free, yeah, like free writing, journaling on like Fridays of every week. It was just very therapeutic to just journal it all out. Yeah, I just love grammar. <laughs> I love uh, like spelling. One time my teacher actually had a compete in like a spelling bee competition. A really fun time. I really enjoyed it. Would you rather be able to fly or be invisible? I am scared of heights. Although flying would be nice, uh, you could definitely save on plane tickets, but I think I would just be invisible. <laughs> this question is when do you want to get married? When I was little, I really thought I would get married at like, I don't know, 22, 24, crazy to think about now because I'm 26. I just, I, I don't know. I feel like I've definitely talked about it with my boyfriend and we are on the same page of when we'll be ready. But I think right now I'm still enjoying getting like my career down, exploring who I am as a person. And I think it's never a rush to get into 
what society pressures you to think you need to do. I'm just enjoying where I am right now. I'm very happy with all the opportunities in my life. What is your biggest pet peeve? When people smack their gum really loudly, like, or yeah, like chewing with their mouth open, I think is really my biggest pet peeve. Okay, next question is, what is your favorite drink? There's this taro milk tea drink from Tiger Sugar that's so, so good. And I get it with the baby boba and the taro chunks. It's just so fresh and so delicious. I also like Al Alpine Green Tea from Tea Top. You guys have one of those in your area, you should definitely try it out. But in terms of alcohol, I don't really drink much just because I don't like the taste of it. But if it's a good cocktail and it's fruity and I don't taste it as much, then I'm much more inclined to like it. And I usually like sangrias or like lychee martinis. Um, yeah, I like fruity stuff. <laughs> what is your favorite dessert? I really love this lemon. I think it's called the six layer or five layer lemon cake from uh, this place called Double Eagle Steakhouse. It is amazing. I love it so much. I definitely want to get it for my birthday coming up. Which genre of music do you listen to the most? I would have to say I'm more of an R&B slash pop type of girly. I've been into K-pop lately, a lot of good V-pop, C-pop. I love Post Malone, Joji, Keshi, uh, Twice, New Jeans, like anything in that space. What I love the most is just receiving music recs from everyone. What was the last concert you attended? The last concert I went to, a Joji concert. Last year, Joji is so amazing live. If you love Joji's music, you definitely have to see him live. Like his set, his lights, like everything's so nice and it's just a really nice vibe to be in. How many boyfriends have you had? My current boyfriend is my first and it's been my only boyfriend. We've actually been dating for seven years now so it's been a long time and I'm really really grateful for him. But yeah, I hope this video wasn't too long. Comment down below if we have anything in common with each other. And as always, thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video or shorts. Love you. Bye!